Hi, this is Sarah Evans, and I am a partner at J Public Relations. And I am based in New York City today, coming to you from Connecticut. And I am here with Tom McAlpin, CEO of Virgin Voyages, who I had the pleasure of meeting in Miami several years ago and have followed this really fantastic journey that you've been on, Tom. So I'm so happy to see you again today. Oh, it's great to be here. Great to see you again, virtually at least. Virtually. Next time, I would prefer to be back in Miami or on, um, we'll just plan to meet on the Valiant Lady next November. Yes. Let's do that. So we're here today to have a chat about where you are today. Tell us what's upcoming. Um, like everyone in the world and in our industry, we had to make, you had to make a quick about turn at the beginning of the pandemic. And that coincided with your launch. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Well, you know, they say that when you're a startup, you need to be nimble and agile. And certainly we, we earned our stripes pretty early uh, in this process. So we had just taken delivery of the Scarlet Lady in, in February. We had done a couple of events in the UK and we were halfway across the Atlantic heading to New York for our big hoopla, big media events, showcasing her to, to travel agents um, and then heading down to Miami and, and that's when COVID uh, broke out in New York. Um, we had to make some quick decisions and we decided to cancel all, all of our events. Uh, a very difficult decision. Um, we did it in advance of the rest of the industry, but clearly the right thing to do because we were not just launching one ship here. We were launching a whole new brand and we wanted to do that in, in the right environment. And we still want to do that in the right environment. So we're excited. Um, we've been kind of uh, uh, hunkered down um, and keeping things going and waiting for the right time. And we're excited, very excited to, to showcase Scarlet Lady to the world in the very near future. That's exciting. And, you know, I'm sorry you had to deal with that, like everybody, but it sounds like you guys did a lot of the right things at the right time and will be ready to go when the time is right. So how have you reimagined operations to make sure the guests are feeling safe and can also enjoy themselves? Yeah, look, we want to be out there talking about how different we are uh, and the unique features of our adult experience and our beautiful ship. But the reality is people want to be, get comfortable. So we need to make people comfortable first. And I think actually we have a great opportunity here as an industry, as a cruise industry, to create this bubble and we can create the safest way to travel. So we have been working <clears throat> collaboratively as an industry through CLIA. Um, and, and we've hired outside consultants and we are putting together a, a bubble, if you will. We're going to test people before they get on board ship. We'll have uh, masks and social distancing. We've got, you know, ways of taking care of people if they do get ill on board. We've ensured that we can get back to port and taking away all those risks and things that people were concerned about. Um, we've also um, done things that are a little bit different. We've got a, a sailor app. We have a, a uh, contactless environment where we can use our bands. Uh, to reduce the contacts there. So we've taken a, a host of different uh, measures, including a new air, air, air filtration system as well, because you know at the, at the end of the day, people need to feel comfortable before they can have a good time. I, I love that about creating a bubble. I think that that's fantastic and such an opportunity. We, we can control the entire experience. Think about it. We can test everybody before they get on board and, and control the entire experience. That's so great. And so in controlling the experience and creating the bubble and ensuring safety is first and foremost, how do you still instill these, you know, A-list, F and B and experiences on board the ship? Yeah, so that, thank you. Now I get to talk about some, some, some things that I want to talk about, right? <laughs> Which is uh, uh, food and beverage and, and dining and, and entertainment. And that is really a, 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 a really important part of, of who we are. We spent a lot of time curating those unique experiences, um, all done in a very fun way. We don't have banquet style dining. We have um, six fantastic restaurants on board the ship. And it's a mixture of, you know, from casual eateries to elegant dining experience. Total In total, we have 20 different um, eateries on board, but six main restaurants. And so effectively, you get to go to a different restaurant each night. You know, we have everything from sophisticated um, fine dining experience to casual eateries. Uh, as an example, um, one of my favorite, Pink Agave, is an upscale Mexican restaurant designed by Tom Dixon. We have The Wake, which is in the back of the ship. You're looking back as the 
at the wake is this beautiful backdrop and it's a uh, steak and seafood restaurant. We have a restaurant called Gumbe, a first Korean barbecue at sea. You get to interact with people on a table around you. Um, of course, we have Extra Virgin, and like its name, it is a authentic uh, Italian cuisine. Um, we have a restaurant called Test Kitchen, so it's a part cooking school and part eatery. Razzle Dazzle, which is a bizarre place, fun, casual, vegan forward. But if you're a meat lover like me, there's some great things on the menu as well. And then entertainment. I mean, we started from scratch looking at, at entertainment. We think about this as a festival-like lineup. We want to give you more choices than you can actually experience on board the ship. So we created the Red Room. The Red Room is our theater. And the theater actually transforms into three different stage setups during the, during the, the voyage. So you have a tra traditional proscenium type of a theater. Um, we have an alley. Uh, set up where we can do acrobatics. You you much you feel much more uh, immersive in that experience. We have a flat floor that we can do these giant dance parties, and it's kind of like a a hype music video that you get to participate in. Um, we call it undance, uh, untitled dance party show thing because we can't find a name that we like, but that kind of says what it is. Um, you don't have to be a dancer, but you can mer be immersed in this whole environment. Um, we're doing some unique things, some impromptu uh, type of entertainment around the ship. We have seven artists that that go around the ship, and they'll feature, you know, fun acts, uh, songs, little skits, um, and kind of surprise and delight our guests. Uh, and then in the the red room, we also have some great shows: dual reality, uh, ships in the night, and fantastic. I've seen all the shows; they're they're amazing. We have a nightclub called the Manor, um, and the the goal was to kick. The, to create the most, the greatest nightclub. I got to watch my profanity here. Uh, the greatest nightclub ever, and that rivals some of the best clubs that you'll see in Miami and New York. So we're really, really excited about food and beverage and entertainment. It's a it's a big part of our whole experience. That's exciting, and you can see how you light up when you do <laughs> talk about that. Um, so it's clear that you have put so much thought into that, and I can't wait to see it come to life. We can't wait to bring it to you because we're, we're really excited about, about showcasing Scarlet to everyone. Well, you did a really great job because I was picturing picturing all of it in my head. So um, now we know that experience, entertainment, food and beverage is going to be so important to travelers since there's going to be so much pent up demand and we all can't wait to get out and do this. And then what about wellness? I mean, wellness is more top of mind than ever right now. So while we're going to be looking for those experiences, we're also looking to for that well-being aspect. So what are you doing to bring the you know, vitamin C, if you will? Well, that's what we call our, our wellness program, vitamin C. And, you know, that's a really important part of the whole experience. We want people to have the ability to party and, and tox and detox and through, through our wellness program and then retox again. So it's the balance um, throughout the entire experience. We have unlimited fitness classes for our sailors. That's included in the price. Um, we have uh, incredible onboard experiences. We've got a lot of healthy choices uh, with tons of things to do. We took those areas, as you know, we are an adult only experience. We took those areas that would traditionally be reserved for kids and we converted those into large scale fitness studios and running tracks and wow. boxing rings and, uh, and, and, and spin studios. So there's a lots of things to do. We've got tons of open decks where you can really enjoy the views and soak up all the beauty and, and the beauty that ship has to offer and really experience being at sea. Uh, we've got tons of, of healthy food options. I mentioned uh, the vegan forward menus. On every, on every menu, there is a vegetarian dishes uh, on board. So you can eat a lot, you can eat healthy, you can eat you know uh, not so healthy and enjoy yourself. So there's great, there's great stuff even for meat eaters like me. That's great. I, I love that you're allowing, you know, people to choose their experience. And it sounds like you have the full gamut and a very well-rounded experience on board. Um, so going back to the safety of the ship and creating that bubble, you have this advanced HVAC system, I believe, and 99% capable of neutralizing coronavirus. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's a it's a relatively new technology. Uh, it's called Atmos Air. It's the first time that they've put this on 
ships, it's traditionally used in hospital settings. So it's very serious. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses on board. Uh, it's a significant investment on our port, but we, we had to do something that is, you know, proactive. So of course we have filtration systems, but this act actively goes out and proactively kills viruses on board the ship. So we're really excited about showcasing it. Again, I go back to what I said earlier, we have the ability to create the safest way to travel. And this is just another one of those features that we've put in. It uses bipolar ionization technology to kill those germs. You don't even see it happening, but it kills all that bacteria and those viruses and they fall to surfaces and then it cleans those surfaces as well. So um, we're, we are into making sure that our ship and our experience is as safe as it could possibly be. You, you do have an opportunity on board that, you know, hotels or, or other vehicles in the travel industry don't have by cre creating this vessel that is enclosed in the safe bubble, as you say. And, and how is technology assisting you with that? Obviously, this HVA system, HVAC system, excuse me, which is a significant investment. But tell us how technology is assisting you to create the, the safest experience possible. Well, again, we have been working very closely with, uh, with the rest of the industry. We put together this uh, healthy sale protocols, um, essentially 74 uh, of the best practices broken down into six major categories. Um, the first is testing before you get on board uh, the ship, uh, the use of masks and social distancing, ventilation, which we talked about, not only just filtration, but the uh, bipolar ionization, um, enhancing our medical capabilities so that we can do testing on board, we can t take care of people if they do get ill, controlling the shore excursions on board. So when you go off on an excursion, uh, they are using the same protocols and the same testing that we have done to make sure that you're, we're letting you off in a safe environment um, because make, t taking care of people is, is really, really important. And all this is done in a, in a, in a, with a solid plan in place. We've also, back to your question, using technology, we have a band that we use um, that allows contactless um, transactions. Um, you can use that to unlock your door, to pay for drinks, to buy things in, in the shop, so it gets away from this contact. We have an app uh, that we have developed that basically you can do everything that you want through the app where you don't have to go to uh, the front desk to get services. Um, you can book your your dining, you can book your entertainment on board. If there's something that is not available at the time, you can put yourself in a virtual queue so you can continue to enjoy the cruise experience while you wait in line and you get notified. Um, we have Ship Eats um, where we, you can order food around the ship and it, it's delivered straight to you. We can, we have on the app, we have a shake for champagne where you take that app, you shake it and you, and up pops a screen, you push a button and within 15 minutes, bottle of champagne is delivered straight to you. So it's a great way to, you know, reduce technology in a fun way to enhance the experience, not just to, to generate more revenue, but really to enhance the experience and help uh, to do it in a, in a safe environment. Shake for champagne. Can we practice that from home? I, I have a button in my office and it doesn't work yet. I keep pushing it all the time. It's not quite working. <laughs> You can sell that to people pre, you know, pre-launch, so we can all have it in in our houses because we we're going to need it this winter, especially in the Northeast, um, which has me thinking about next year and the Caribbean. And so you're sailing the Valiant Lady into the Caribbean from Miami, starting in November 2021. So a year from now, tell us about what guests can expect with that. Yeah, so Valiant is our, our second, the Valiant Lady is our second ship, um, which is launching um, uh, um, mid next year. Uh, we'll be in the, in the Mediterranean, so we'll be going sailing from Barcelona to great places like Marseille, Monte Carlo, uh, Toulon. Uh, every one of the cruises, there's three different cruises, all of them spend the night in Ibiza. Also, we'll go to Palma, Mallorca. So there's fantastic, ex exciting places to go. Um, when we're in the Mediterranean. I think that's the, the big difference between the ships. Our ships are sister ships. There are some unique uh, differences, uh, subtle differences amongst them, but the, the real difference is the itinerary. And we're super excited about bringing the ship back to our home, uh, home port in Miami. Um, and in November of next year, we'll have two ships um, based out of Miami, the Scarlet Lady doing five night and four night itineraries. 
uh, and then the Valiant Lady doing six and eight night itinerary. So that allows us to go a little bit deeper into the Caribbean, to Puerto Plata, to San Juan, St. Croix, and obviously back to our, our uh, beach club in Bimini. I don't think we spoke about uh, their beach club when we when we were together a couple years ago, but we have created this Virgin Voyages Beach Club at Bimini. Bimini is a fantastic little island, only 50 miles from Miami. It's it's perfect for us because it's uh, it's a small island, so you get to enjoy all the great water sports that they have to offer. Fantastic diving and uh, and, and all the things, boating and uh, laying on the beach and all those. But we bring you back to a Virgin Voyages Beach Club. And think about this as kind of a Bisa meets Tulum, if you will, uh, San Tropez type of a place, but a secluded, sophisticated experience with two big pools, lots of hammocks, great DJs on board. We'll be bringing uh, DJs like uh, um, uh, Sophie Tucker, uh, Mark Ronson on board to do special appearances. And all of our guests get to experience that. We'll also do um, some nighttime events there as well. And I won't spoil the thunder, but we have these giant fireballs that we replicated for the ones that are on Richard on Necker Island, Richard's Island uh, in, in the Virgin Islands. And we have four of those on board. So we're pretty excited about the nighttime experience that we're going to create there as well. I, I'm, I'm really excited about this and I'm a huge fan of Virgin Voyages and what you're doing and have been following you very closely since we met um, several years ago initially. So congratulations on how you. you've navigated all of this and it's created such an experience that's going to be second to none, it sounds like. So because we're still in this very uncertain time, what are the challenges that you're still facing and how are you planning for the future? Yeah, so great question. I mean, we are, we've had to, you know, slow things down, um, kind of put the brakes on and, and wait till we get through this. You know, our challenge is um, we, people know the Virgin brand, they don't know Virgin Voyages. So, you know, we have to build our awareness. We need the travel agent community out there helping us spread the word about Virgin Voyages. We've done, continue to do a lot of research um, and there is significant amount of pe pent up demand. People want to get out of their houses. They've been spending their money on goods and they're ready to spend things on experiences. So they're ready to get out. Um, we've seen some positive trends. The CDC has lifted their no sale order and, uh, and they have now in place a, a, a new protocol for us to get back into operation. We are working as an industry with CDC to further define exactly what that is. It will include uh, you know, potential test cruises and, and, and the like. So it'll take us a little bit of time to get back uh, up to speed, but we are uh, uh, cautiously optimistic um, that we'll be doing that and, and getting back to operation in the, in the very, very near future. We're so, so excited to showcase Scarlett. I mean, she is a different type of a ship. The look and feel of her, she looks, she it takes some inspiration from a, from a super yacht design. You can, know, you can recognize her anywhere around the world knowing that's a virgin ship just by seeing that funnel and the, and the, and the transom of the ship. So we're, we're excited to showcase her. She's back in Genoa now um, and she's doing some, uh, some finishing touches. We did some additional work. We did some warranty work. Uh, we brought her there so we can disembark all of our crew. So she's, they're taking very good care of her in Italy right now. Uh, and we'll be bringing her back here in the very, very near future. So we look forward to showcasing her to, uh, you know, to the world and, and providing those fantastic, luxurious, relaxing and laid back experiences all tied together in a, in a way that I don't think anyone else can do because we are the only ship out there that really caters to that adult audience, that adult market. And that adult market is, as you said, extremely ready to travel. The pent up demand is real. And I am really excited for you because I think the launch is going to be even more wildly successful after, after all of this. Because... You'll, you'll have to leave those the kids at home, leave them home with the nanny or grandma, come sail with us. I'm, I'm ready. And I think that, um, parents are going to be ready, more ready than ever for the kid-free experience after nine months at home. And that's right. And that's what our research has told us. Moms need a break too. So especially after being home and homeschooling and taking care of them and not being able to get out of the house. So, And I love the, love the, the detox to retox so you can go 
and have, you know, this really cool nightclub DJ experience that you would only have in New York or Miami and then, you know, have a vegan lunch the next day and go boxing. So I, I, the balance sounds really, really great. And um, I'm so happy to see you. And I hope that the next time we see each other is on Scarlet Lady or Valiant. Pushing a button for Shake Champagne together on the Scarlet Yes. I'm going to try to do that later and see if anything shows up <laughs> at my hat. All right. Good to see you. Thanks Good so much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank Bye -bye. you, Tom. Bye.